I have been having one heck of a time with chipmunks this year. See the top of this plant right here? This is actually a sweet potato that the chipmunks ate all the way down to the ground and I left the stub in there and thankfully it's regenerated leaves. Same thing with that one. And there were a couple up here. Um, I don't know if this one's gonna make it back. I see one leaf starting to form there on the side but they literally ate it all the way to the ground. And uh, anyways, I've been trapping these chipmunks. Um, let me show you some signs that you've got chipmunk problems besides that. Over here are my green beans. Same deal. The tops of the plants are ate off. If you see that, you likely have a chipmunk problem. Let me show you another sure sign that you have a chipmunk problem. You want to have to walk with me up here. Excuse my garden, which I haven't even had time to get out and weed once yet. Oh, there's actually one right over here. Next to this trap, this is what I'm using to trap them with. I'm not even putting bait on them now. You can see down here there's like a hole in this corner. Maybe that's not the best example, but let me show you another one. It's probably easier to see. If you start to see, that one's probably not all that great to see either. If you start to see little dug up areas in the in your bed, and sometimes they'll have like a nut in them, that is a sure sign you've got chipmunks. Because that's what they do. They dig in your bed, and they look for places to hide things like pine cones and nuts. There's one right there. Sometimes you'll see them out here in the walkways. They'll be hidden. Um, I have a bad habit of kicking them over whenever I see them to fill them back in. There's almost always some down here in the berries also. Uh, right there's the last two I just caught. I've already killed 11 chipmunks this year. This is the first year. I've gardened in the same spot for five years. I've never had a chipmunk problem until this year. Um, I often see like the little holes they leave up here in my beds for like my... This is a fig tree. This is blueberries. This is blueberries. Wouldn't you know it? The one time I want to show you guys what the holes look like, I don't see any. Let me pause this and let me walk over to where I know there's some more at. Which is my pawpaws. And I'll bring you right back. Okay, this pawpaw. Okay, this pawpaw tree right here actually has a couple ones that are fresh. See it right there. Little hole that they dig. There's another one over here. So they dig these little holes and they often store nuts or other food items in there. And then they always know where they're at and they'll come back and get them. There's one right there, but it's kind of filled in with some leaves. There's one right there. So that's how you know you've got chipmunks and they will absolutely destroy your garden. They'll eat the tops off your plants. And uh, if you want to save your garden, you need to get some traps out as soon as you see signs of them. And I'll link to a video I did earlier um, on how to trap them. Peanut butter with like some fresh peanuts or sunflower seeds stuck in the peanut butter works really well. And to be honest with you, the last few days, I've not been using anything on the traps. I'm just reloading the traps and setting them where they're at and active. Which right now you can see over here is what is left of my green beans. You can tell that bed right there about half of it's gone. And that's because in just two or three days they've about wiped it out. And you can see the traps. There's one there, one there. Should be, yeah, there's three traps right there. You can see them. They don't have any bait on them. And I caught those two yesterday or since I checked yesterday. So within the last 24 hours I got two more in these traps and I've caught 11 so far this year now the 
green beans seem to be what they've done the most damage to and also my sweet potatoes but they'll eat the tops off of anything i've actually seen um some donor peas that come up they eat the tops off of i've even seen some marigolds they've ate the tops off of so they're not picky just whatever they have the taste for they'll eat and that's how you take care of them